Hey guys, um, this is just a separate update that I wanted to do. It's kind of a whole other topic. But these are tips for Chemistry 120 at the University of Waterloo. Number one, if you're with Professor Bissonnette, um, buy the lab manual. It's not the lab manual, it's the course manual. And it has all the course notes. I know even if you're not in Bissonnette's class, buy it. If you know someone who has taken Chemistry 120, get a hold of that book. It's really, really, really helpful. Um, number two, know your molecular orbital bonding diagram thing. You'll learn about it. You won't know what I'm talking about right now. Once you do know what I'm talking about, make sure you know it for the exam. Um, bond order, that's definitely a must. There's a couple questions on the exam about that. Um, make sure you know how to do stoichiometry. There's like three or four questions on that. You're going to make sure you know how to draw all the diagrams for like the bonding, stuff like that, non-bonding things, bonding things. Um, what else? Make sure you know... You know what I can't even remember now. Um, Hess's Law. That's a... There's a question on that and it's pretty long. Um, that one, and make sure you know how to find empirical formula. Uh, that was a question on the exam as well. Make sure you can tell which molecules are polar and non-polar, which molecules will have a dipole and non-dipole moment, all that fun stuff. Just be prepared in general. It's pretty balanced. I mean, the last like quarter of it is all on your last modules for like molecular orbital bonding, so just make sure you know that. Um, I'm going to stop because this update is very boring, but it will be beneficial to whoever is in Chemistry 120. So if you're on that class, read this, read this, watch this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a message down below, and I can give you help and tips and pointers. Okay, bye guys.